paper. Hi, Mary. I was looking for, I guess I could put it on that. I could put it on one of these, I guess. Sample on this. There we go. Okay. All right. Hi, Faithful Miss. Hi, Andrew. Do some sketching today, but I got kits and happy mail and stuff to show first. I started playing around with a seahorse this morning and on the scroll, which was a scroll, I mean a roll of shipping paper, but I cut it down because it was too hard to manage on a stream. So, but yeah, I started doing that. Hi, Pamela, Rain, Darla. Can y'all hear me okay? Kelly S. in Oz, I think, is in Oz. Let me turn my monitor just a little this way. There we go. Whew. Uh, let's see. Rachel. Let's see. Kathleen. Um, I don't think um, Tina's going to be here this morning. And um, Janet is probably going to be here in a little bit. Thanks, Faithful Mess. Janet's going to be here in a little while, I think. Uh, she was going to have family come in, and they, they postponed that. So um, I'm just trying to get everything so it doesn't roll off the edge. Um, thanks, guys. So hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, a lot of people turned in homework on the questioning, the fat, doing the questions on the fabric thing. That was fun. Y'all did good. If y'all don't follow us, hashtag society of idea collectors. I, I, this, it's fun. I mean, I know a lot of people don't post it and they do it because they tell me, but the ones that post, they're really, they're really fun. Uh, let's see, Diana, Dawn, Samantha, good morning, love seeing my Cali cat portrait on the show. Oh, you're, it, I saw the picture. I, I showed everybody the picture that you posted with your cat and the portrait next to each other. <laughs> you're welcome. Let's see, Joan, who else? Did I say Jane? Hi, cat. Um, I think it was, cat, was it your birthday last week? I thought I saw somebody post that it was your birthday last week if i missed it happy birthday hi julie happy marvelous monday hi janet i was just telling uh, everybody that tina's not going to be here today so thanks guys thanks mods for being here and uh good morning glory and speaking of good morning glory um i did post this on, i just posted on twitter i didn't post it on instagram but I went out today is flag day. So I posted, let me find it. So I did a little, just to like a 20 second flag. My flag outside. It's not, there's no breeze. You can, oh, let me see if you can hear the, hear the birds. Let it, I'll let it play. So, yeah, I posted that this morning. Um, let's see. What else is going on? What else is going on? Who am I missing? Uh, let's see. Don Dini. Welcome, Don. Uh, let's see. I think I've said hi to everybody coming in. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Good morning, lurkers. Hi, Becky Kalora. 
Yep. Happy Monday Flag Day. Yep. I just, I don't know if you just came in. I posted a little, I went outside and took, there's no real breeze. So it's kind of like, you know, kind of just still, but that's okay. So, yeah. Uh, and then let me go ahead while we're sitting here. Let me go over to Society of Idea Collectors and um, Instagram. And let's see. So there's a lot of people post a lot of things. Of course, I can't show everything, but just shout out to people that have been posting. Um, Jane posted. Well, let's see. This was last week when she did the. She did the corn there, but um, so a lot of people posted the fabric challenge or homework, if you will. And there's Kathleen and with a piece of fabric and you were to ask who, what, where, why, when, how, you know, ask the questions on your piece of fabric here. Uh, Arlene did one on denim. It looks like she did the whole history of denim. Uh, oh, my gosh. So she, you have to go over there and read them all, guys. They're really fun. Here's Linda Renz. And uh, here's Darla did some mind mapping. And, and then, of course, Ashley, when she had, she burned her paper. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so go, um, go and, and look at everybody that posted on Society of Idea Collectors. Here's Devin Rex. She did some, let's see, this is, oh, she, this is an ICAD prompt. She just tagged us in it. So she did the iCADs. She's working on the iCAD prompt. Oh, here she, the, there's the, uh, I scrolled, I hadn't scrolled over far enough. There's her um, Society of Idea Collector notebook and there's her fabric. And again, uh, let's see if I can bring it. So you can go and read everybody's stuff. I always have to remember to scroll, even on my own stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks, Becky. <clears throat> so yeah, hashtag society. There it is. Hi, Bacola. Society of Idea Collectors, all one word. And um, hi, Linda. I just showed yours as well. So go over and peruse everybody's homework. And if, even if you don't post, guys, keep a Society of Idea Collector notebook where you keep your ideas, your questions, your thoughts, you know, your ideas. And a place to keep them all so that you always have ideas. I'm telling you, you'll always have ideas if you keep a notebook. So, um, yeah. Hi, Brenda. Brenda D. Who else? I know I'm probably missing people. So, yeah. And if you don't know what we're talking about, the side of idea collectors, go, go, to, the, uh, go to the playlist and go back about probably about I guess we're going into week seven and uh, we've done it years ago we've done it over the years I've been streaming for 10 years and over the years we've we've done worked in the Society of Idea Collector notebook but we just kind of started doing it again some more stuff because a lot of people don't know don't, bleh, didn't know about it or don't know about it and so if you um Want to see how to like contain your ideas and collect them, organize them, tab them, you know, bind them. <laughs> oh. so, so let's see, Kelly C, Kimberly, um, Barb Chicken Pot Pie Society. Oh, let's see who else. So yeah, so if y'all know Sister Woman Jonna who is Preppy Crafty Girl um, on Etsy. Well, she is on YouTube, too. She did show these kits over the last few weeks, I guess. Not even weeks, a couple weeks. And um, so I bought two kits and one pack of her vintage papers. And I've already taken them out. They, she, she sells them and packages her kits in vintage um, sheets. And she makes envelopes for them out of the vintage sheets. So I took them out of them. And I already got um, uh, envelopes ready for each one. 
because um, that way I can take them out and organize them and show them to you. Oh, thank you, Pacoa. I was gonna dig, I was gonna dig it up out of the uh, out of the. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'll show you all the picture. Let's see. Preppy, crafty girl. So y'all can see what her, this is what her logo and everything looks like. So if you go over to Etsy, Preppy Crafty Girl, that's where you can get these vintage kits. And I've bought different ones. I've bought Home and uh, I forget the names of them all. Uh, Bible ones. Um, this one's a Paris one. And um, so, yeah, she has awesome vintage kits. Hi, Darlene, Hedgy. <clears throat> and so I'm going to show these. So like I said, I did take them out of their packaging. Um, she has them each wrapped up in, um, she has them each wrapped up in the plastic and then put the plastic is put in these nice vintage, and she has a secret scent that she washes them in. And they always smell so good. And then she has them wrapped up with ribbon. So I've got them kind of ready to show you and then put in the in my plastic sleeves to contain them. But yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to show that here in a minute. So do y'all have any questions? Talk about what y'all did over the weekend. Did y'all do anything creative? Did you do some homework? Did you do, you know, are you working in your gardens? I did post pictures of my garden. I, you know what? I totally was going to put something artistic next to my tomatoes outside and totally forgot. Totally. Totally forgot to put. <laughs> so here's my garden pictures. Um, this is going into week 10. And um, there's peppers are growing tomatoes are growing i picked three or four of them and i was going to put like something artsy here but i forgot so i'd already taken the tomatoes in and you know so i said well i just won't post anything in the artist garden what is it baby you want to come up here come on are you talking to mama oh are you talking to mama you can come up here and say good morning come on come on Come on. Now come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. You're talking to me. And then I posted, um, I did finish the uh, Black Rhino in um, Fragile World. Kirby Roseanne's Fragile World. So I did finish that. And here's the cover to the book. What is it, baby? What is it? And speaking of cats, I don't know who did it because there was no, I'm suspecting it's Sharon L. But um, <laughs> I'm suspecting it's Sharon L. But I got from Amazon a box of cat treats and cat toys. <laughs> and it's so funny because we were just running out of them. This is the brand we always get them. And uh, we were just running out of them. So we got two big, I, I took, I did take one toy out for them because I wanted to show them to you before I, before I gave the toys to them. So Sharon L, if you're the one, or if you're, if whoever wants to fess up, um, whoever wants to fess up that they sent this. <laughs> uh, Julie's working through her 101 collages and one staple collage. Let's see. Hi, Mama Four. Uh, oh, Kalura painted. She's painting on her nose. Did you post a picture of it, Becky? I didn't see a picture, but, you know, I'm, I know I miss people. Uh, let's see. Darlene had a family cookout. Nice to be able to get together. <coughs> okay, let me look up um, Becky here and see if she posted something on her... Um, Instagram because I didn't see it. Let's see. 
Oh, there she did. Po okay, when did you post this? Oh my gosh, she posted this two days ago. I missed it. So she's working on her now. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my gosh, it's just the one picture. So, so back started bothering my back. The back started bothering me for half a day. Maybe I'll get him finished tomorrow. Yeah, he is real cute. He's real cute. So there's uh, Becky Calora's. Uh, <laughs> There's, there's, there's Becky right there, Becky Skinner, and she always posts a cat or day as well. What are you doing, baby girl? I'll give you a toy here. Let let Mama open the toys and show y'all the toys. <laughs> oh, I know it was cute, wasn't it, Mama? For it was cute. Okay, so these, I, like I said, I took one out. So these are like little vegetables. Look, a carrot and, and corn. <laughs> Cute. Oh, my gosh, a pepper. Oh, there's, there's, yeah, there we go. So um, there's these. And then there's these. <laughs> Look, little sushis and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, little sushi. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Aren't these adorable? So anyway, these are so cute. And so thank you whoever sent them. Uh, if it, I think it was probably Sharon L, but it could have been somebody else because a couple of people have sent the cats treats and toys over the years. So, so thank you. <laughs> I know, right, Pagola? Uh, <laughs> so if anybody wants to fess up to who sent them, otherwise I'm going to just have to assume it's Sharon. So, but aren't they cute? Look at this. <laughs> so anyway, do you want a toy? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Do you want a sushi? Would you like a sushi? I don't know if these have catnip in them or not. But she always brings me her, she brings me her toys. Like after a stream on the other side of the table over here. Now I've got to close this up because they will get in all of them, including the treats. Um, after the stream on the other side of the table from where this monitor is, there's always a pile of toys. She always buys, she's down there playing with them. Are you having fun? Are you having fun with your new toy? Oh, she's rubbing all over it. Oh, baby girl, she loves her toy. Yes, she does. <laughs> so thank you, whoever, whoever sent that. Hi, Maseki. <clears throat> So, yes, I get it, Samantha. <laughs> so I was going to do a couple things. I want to show the kits. Uh, Donna in Trinidad sent me some, let me move the addresses, sent me some of collage fodder for her to, uh, to work a collage for her, which um, I won't do today, but I wanted, I wanted to show it. And um, I'm working on, I started doing a sketch of a seahorse this morning. I sketched it out with some Conti crane. I have my little box over here that I usually pull out whenever I'm doing sketching. So I sketched, um, I sketched it out in Conti crayon, like brown. And uh, I thought I'd do a couple more. And then I thought maybe I'd ink them or paint them, whatever we want to do. Because remember, I pulled out a couple from the last time. Last time we did this red panda, and um, we did this and this. So we did this last time, and so I thought maybe I don't know if I want to add color, if I want to just ink it. You know, Inktober will be coming up. I'm gonna have to decide what I want to do this year. This will be my seventh year of doing Inktober, completing Inktober for seven years in a row. So I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I can see I still miss some of my Conti crayon uh, sketch there. Are you having fun with that little girl? Oh, my gosh. She's just rolling all over that sushi. <laughs> so we might work on that. Um, 
I also want to write down, um, I wanted to do a little brush lettering. I might do that real quick. Uh, that says I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, just to have a little brush lettering of that. But I got to find my, let's see, do I just want to do it with this? Um, this might be too big. This might be too small. Let me just write it. I just thought I would write it out just because then I can just show, oh, I stream every Monday and Wednesday. So I still wanted to brush letter that. Um, let's see. Put, don't forget to put it in caps if you're talking to me. Make sure you have live chat clicked over the chat instead of top chat because you won't see all the chat if you just have top chat. So have live chat. Make sure you have in the little setting wheel that you're watching either in 720 or 1080p. I'm streaming on StreamYard at 1080p. So, um, yeah. I think that's all the, the information. I love this. I love this right here. That Melody Gingler sent last week <laughs> that we finally figured out at the end. The little um, slider that I always say, if you don't like something, you can just like, oh, hi, Juanita. Thank you so much for the super chat. Let me write you down. Let me write you down, Juanita. <clears throat> Hope you're doing okay. Juanita had a loss in her family a couple weeks ago. Thank you, Juanita, for the super chat. So I write if you if you support the channel with either a super chat or PayPal tip jar, I will um, send you out a print the first week of, of the month. So I wrote that down. Thank you, Juanita, for supporting the channel. And if you don't follow She Spins Juanita, she I don't know if she's done any videos right recently, like the last couple weeks, but she always does uh, all kinds of things, um, spinning and mixed media and just all different kinds of things. So go follow She Spins Juanita. Um, so... <laughs> So I'm always saying, you know, uh, people that want to leave um, comments that they don't like, we talk too much, or it goes on too long before we do a project. I just say, look, there's a little slider button. And, and Melody made this little card with a slider button. And at the end of the show, I figured out, watch, look, <laughs> the little slider <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just love this so much. So I keep this, I keep this right handy. It's right handy. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so let's see if I can do this. Let me see. Let me test. Let me test the mm, that may be too thin. I think I should do it with a bigger one. Let's see. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of um, you know, not on a line. What do they call it? Drop letters. Where it just <laughs> all right. I know. I know. <laughs> all right. So I just want to do something like and look them all on bumps and everything. Let's see, do I just want to do here? I need, I'm going to have to get this on a flat surface. <laughs> okay, so now this is going to be, might be too big now, or I should have moved it up. Um, no, I'll just, I'll try to write a little smaller. This is on porous paper, so it's kind of soaking in. But...
guys there we go and then instead of decorating the top I'm just gonna make it smaller <laughs> there we go so yeah, so I'll keep my little ice stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. Hi, Gina. Let's see. Um, I think I said hi to everybody. Okay. So this is when I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. But I come on at 8.30 for like pre-chat, you know, just to sit here and um, chat with you guys for a little bit. So now I've got to keep that handy. Let's put it next to my... Let's put it right over here next to my scissors and my other little fun thing. It's right there. There we go. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and start showing the kits that I bought from Jonna. And then um, I'll show the um, collage stuff from Donna in Trinidad. And then we'll maybe do some sketching. Like I said, I started sketching out. A seahorse this morning but we can sketch something else out and um, you know just to play with it and see what we want to do just thought it would be fun maybe I'll do animal request and send those out you know I like to do that every now and then especially at Christmas I love doing the Christmas animals <laughs> where we have our Christmas animals doing all kinds of fun Christmassy holiday things so and in a, in uh, October and Halloween, where we made um, we've made uh, um, Frank and giraffe and just different ones, <laughs> the squirrel, mummy squirrel, and we've done just different animals that are uh, I secret squirrel Amy. See, speaking of squirrel, secret squirrel Amy, and um, so yeah, we make we do some fun things. So maybe we'll do some animals today. All right, well, let me go ahead and start showing you my kits here from Jonna. So this one, first one, and they all come, like I said, they all come wrapped in, uh, let's see, I think my camera's a little crooked. There we go. They all come wrapped in vintage sheets that she washes and sews and makes little envelopes with. Here's a little extra piece that she put in there. And then it's always wrapped up with a pretty bow, and they're all in a plastic sleeve which i well yeah they're always in a plastic which i took them out just to make it more convenient to show you guys and then i i got these um i buy these off of amazon to put my kits or collage or whatever in so um just to make it like easy to easy to sort okay and oh, thanks, Jane. I love doing the Christmas animals. I know they're so fun. And especially when y'all join in and go, okay, give him a Santa hat. Give him a whatever, you know, and we add fun things to the animals. They're always fun. And uh, thank you, Pacola. That she's put the uh, Etsy shop again. Okay, so this is where and, and they're all they're all different, even though she may have like, you know, five or six bible kits or five or six home kits are all going to be a little different but she usually does videos on them on her youtube channel so this one's the home one of the home kits and she only had one paris one and i bought it sorry <laughs> i bought the last paris kit but um so this one has a, a vintage apron in it which I will probably give to Boo. I gave her, her, I gave Samantha the last crocheted one from the other kit that I bought. And she loved that little crocheted apron. When I took it up to her, she wore it all day long. <laughs> I should, maybe I'll show you. Let me see if I can find one picture here. Uh, her graduation party. Let's see. Oh, let me just pick one because I don't want to show all her friends. So let me just find one of her, and uh, and I'll show you one of um, Logan, uh, who just graduated. He's going into junior high. Uh, Boo's already got a year of college behind her, 
and she's going to be going to college in Florida. And uh, let's see, that's her graduation picture. But I was looking for one of the party pictures. Let me go over to Denise's messenger. <clears throat> let's see. Let me go fly through here. I didn't pick one out, so. Hang on. Uh, let me try to find one of. Maybe her and Hubster. Oh, here's here's here she is with her boyfriend. So there's Boo and her boyfriend, who is tall, and she's she's. She's the shortest one in her class, and I think he's the tallest one in, his, in the class. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So we built all these uh, decorations and stuff to do um, photo ops around. So there she is right there. There's my little boo. I call her boo because she's little. So she just graduated from high school and going with a year, already got a year of college behind her and uh, going to start... Um, we did this big, this right here, this big arch. So I'm try to, there we go. This big balloon arch right here. So it was nice. It was a nice party. And then, can't, I mean, uh, um, Logan, let me go look in here. He has a good, I have a good picture of him with, and these aren't, this not they're not private pictures because they posted them on Facebook and stuff. So let me see where's that one that I really like. Well, where is it? Let me look at. I know I saved it in my photos. Sorry guys, it's not sorry, not sorry. <laughs> let me show you my family. <laughs> All right, here. Okay, <clears throat> this is a good one. There's a. There he is with Annie, and uh, so that was a that was a good one right there. So, <clears throat> congratulations to all that have graduated. I know, and I saw yours too. Um, Julie's granddaughter uh, graduate. I know, and Mary graduated. Yeah, I know. So anyway, I said all that to say that when I gave her the little crocheted apron, she loved and wore all day long. So this one is um, a vintage, of course it needs ironing because it was in the, it's like crinoline, is that what it's called? This real thin little apron. So, you know, I don't know when they wore these kind of, just for like at parties and stuff, where it was like uh, more decorative than trying to really protect your clothes. So this was in the home kit. That was in there, and I'm not going to put this in the envelope because that'll go to boo. <laughs> she can wear it down Florida because <laughs> it's so she is so thin. So if she has a party in the apartment, she can uh, wear her thin little apron over her clothes or bathing suit, whatever they're wearing down there. So let's see. Um... <laughs> oh, Rachel. <laughs> Well, it didn't take that long, did it? Okay, so then she sent me this uh, crochet doily um, like this. This was in the kit. And again, I don't know, um, Mary makes all kinds of things with this. So I might end up sending this to someone that might make it in a journal or something because I know I won't use it in a journal, but I love all the vintagey stuff. Then, now this, I bought this particular home kit because of this. So I'm going to see who can guess what this is. Now, if you watched John's video and you already know what this is, then don't cheat. But look, look what it looks like here. And it's got a little drawstring. Okay. And you pull the drawstring and you have to tie it off. You have to tie it off. But okay. So does anybody know what this is? I'll, I'll give you all a minute. I'm holding it, but you have to, you can tie a bow there. Does anybody know what this is? And you can make it really neat because Jonna did. Jonna had it all straightened out like this. Do you know what this is for? Oh my gosh, Rachel got it. <laughs> yes. It's a little, it's a little um bun basket. 
to put your little rolls in. It's your little, it's a little bun basket. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people I think thought it held jewelry too, but no, it's it's open. See, they they don't close up. The little pockets are wide open, and I think it holds a dozen. Like you know, you can like loosen it up a little there, and um, I got I pulled it a little tight. So, but you got to pull it. There we go, about right there, I think. And look. So you can put you can put your rolls in there. I <laughs> Maybe it could hold eggs, secret squirrel. I don't know. I don't know if I'd trust it to be, you know, you couldn't really pick it up. I guess you could put eggs in it. But anyway, that's what it is. It's to hold your rolls. Isn't that so sweet? I'd never seen one of these before. Obviously, Rachel has seen it before. So you just tuck your little rolls in there and goes on the table. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that cute? So this, this is why I bought this particular kit. I mean, she always has good stuff in her kits, but this was excellent. So I'll take this out too. Um. <laughs> Maybe Denise would like it. I don't know. Denise might like that. She does bright. She does brunches and stuff. She'd probably like that little bread basket thing. We never have company, so <laughs> just saying. Okay, so this came in the kit. This all this came in the kit with this and what you just saw, the apron and the bread basket. And, um, you know, of course, a handmade envelope. So this is the book that came in at my home. And you can do a couple different things with these kits. You can either or these books. You can either use this as your as the book that you use to make a journal with and put your pictures in here, your faux ephemera, your journaling, whatever you want. But if you want to make a journal out of it, you can also cut this down. John has made journals out of them before and you can take. You can take them apart, put rings in them, you know, and make it into a, a junk journal, you know, uh, any kind of an art journal. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I've never seen one of those either. So they're just, she always has these little, um, you know, cute little golden books in, not in all her kits, but in, uh, and she always shows, she does videos. Hi, Natalie. She does videos on what comes in the kit. So, because Etsy, you're limited to a certain amount of photographs. It's hard to show every little thing that comes in the kit. So she usually does, um, she usually does, what do you call it, uh, videos on her YouTube channel. So I'm not sure. Let's see when this one came out. Let's see. Oh, it's so tiny. Yeah, let's, oh, nine, this one's a 1978. This one's 1978. <clears throat> Let's see if my family's going to start texting. I'm going to have to move my phone. Uh, let's see. No, oh, she's my uh, sister-in-law. Okay. So anyway, um, the little golden books make good little uh, journals. I made one of with Denise at, as a baby. I made one with uh, like a little mini album little mini scrapbook and uh did one with her in it but anyway you can do them however you want or you can just take them apart you know the pokey puppy i still have the pokey puppy rachel somewhere i have the pokey puppy somewhere hi abigail okay so it comes with all kinds of let me see let's start with the let's see and I, and i've taken out it was really neat she had it very packed very nicely and i've i took it all out to, so that i could have it ready to show you guys so some of the little stuff is probably loose in here um but all kinds of vintagey things look little a little card a little vetch this has uh, some onions on it thank you riri for the super sticker let me write you down girl thank you so much Thank you so much for the super sticker. <clears throat> I write it down. I put you in the book. And then when I send out the prints, I uh, I send anybody a, a print that supports the channel or PayPal tips. Now, if you PayPal tip jar me and you, and you don't know if I have your address, either leave your address or m email me. I have Riri's and I have uh, Juanita's, especially if you move. I've had a couple return. One was my fault. I had the wrong address. And I sent that back out again. Um, 
And that was, if, if you're watching, R. R. I sent her some wallpaper, Sam. Those, so, the, some of that wallpaper, the peel and stick, and it was returned to me. It was my fault. I put, I didn't have enough numbers in her address. So I sent it back out, R. And uh, so that should be coming back to, you know, heading back your way. But when I've checked, I've tried to really be careful about my addresses. So especially if you move, let me know. So I don't have to hunt you down. <laughs> your address so thank you riri okay so there's that <clears throat> she always puts in well i say always and i don't uh, let me say most of the time when i say always because because every kit's different look at this vintage uh photograph of a kitchen here with a hot water heater there in the corner and it's an actual real photo a little paint chip cooking measures now i should probably hang this up in my kitchen Oh, Amaris. Thank you, Amaris, for the super chat. Let me write you down. Amaris, I'm not sure if I have your address. I think I do, but it's always good. If you're not sure, send it to me again. I'd rather have it twice than not, you know, not at all. Thank you for the super chat, Amaris. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks, guys, that support the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see, Susie girl, I know I'm probably missing people coming in. Uh, so this has cooking measures before and after preparation. Keep this card as a handy reference. And it has the different ingredients, what they are bef before and after cooking them, like apples, macaroni, you know, whatever. Um, so, or if you ground up, here's potato chips to so four ounces of potato chips. If you crush them, two cups, um, one head of lettuce will, uh, equal six and a fourth cups torn. <laughs> I probably won't need this cause I don't think I use any of this stuff. Well, I use lettuce, but <laughs> you know, salad. Oh, okay. So here's some vintage like little playing cards. She always puts some kind of cute little cards, some little stationery. This one is a little, um, I like it when they have the dates on them, but this one doesn't have a date on it. And then, cause it's just fun to see. These are those, did anybody, was anybody in one of those uh, subscriptions where you got these little cards every month? It, raise your hand and they, they got you with the box you get the free box you get the free box and then every month you get two sets of cards i think it was two i forget how much it was so many years ago and uh <laughs> it's a little fondue uh here's just a little um god bless our home because remember this is a home this one's a home kit hi christine happy marvelous monday <laughs> Um, all right, so let's see. Here's some um, recipe cards that are perforated. And then you have it for a notebook. Here's an envelope. You could put this. And if you, if you make little, little mini journals, these are awesome for little mini journals. Here's another. This is a strawberry shortcake. This one, this one probably came in a binder. Um, can y'all see okay? I just kind of want to flip through just so y'all can see. Information Almanac, a monthly compendium of facts and fantasies. Let's see what's on here, shall we? <laughs> remember, guys. Remember. <clears throat> Hang on, let me get my little card here. It's a chat show. <laughs> Let's see. Um, they have a thing on hiccups. The history of hiccups. Well, I won't read that. It's too long. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, here's some. You've weather stripped your drafty door in five minutes, and it costs less than $6. <laughs> it's like an ad, you know, vintage. But it's, you know, fixing up the home. Uh, a little mop top, a page from a children's book. Here, what do we got here? Here's another ad. Brillo pads. Brillo pads. I think there's, I know we have, we still have SOS pads because I do get those every now and then. But I don't know about the Brillo brand, if Brillo brand is still around. 
Okay, back home, just try to picture me back home in Tennessee. So some music sheets, some music papers, Al Jolson music papers. Music by Walter Donaldson. So again, there's a bunch of sheets of vintage, vintage music sheets in here. Mm. So if y'all are into junk journaling or any kind of journaling, here's a page of uh, vintage wallpaper piece. Again, the little teacups and the little. Uh, that's so cool. It feels so cool. Donna goes to a lot of flea markets. She goes to a lot of flea markets and um, things like that. Oh, let's see. Julie said, I found a complete set of those monthly cards all about house plants. The cutest little box. It looked like a little green house. I don't know with me. Of course I did. 1970s, maybe. Are you using it, Julie? <laughs> are, are we using these things? I uh, All right. How many of y'all? remember the and I and I think I had I took it out of the room because I didn't I moved my other art books in there how many of you um remember uh Eileen I mean Aileen sorry Aileen you know the Aileen tacky glue lady this lady here Aileen and well she and her daughters had kits like that too and I was in that club that was about 30 years ago it's probably about 30 years ago, 25 to 30 years ago. Maybe yeah, I had to be at least 30. And you would, it was like a little subscription, but it was a notebook. It was like little mini, well, I say mini. They're about this this big. And I bought, I was in it for two, two notebooks full. They're about this thick. And then they had the tabs, the dividers, and it divided it up by projects. I'll have to dig it out. I know I've shown it to y'all before years ago. And, um, and, and it had all the craft craft ideas on those little pages in the notebook. Julie said, I bought it home, but used the cards for collage fodder. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Here's another piece of vintage wallpaper. A little. Um, is that not. Is that Holly Hobby? I think that's Holly Hobby. Uh, a little um oh uh, little boy on on look at the phone look what kind of phone he's on i'd like to speak to any little kid in london england <laughs> here's another little ad oh uh, look at this look at these curtains guys look at those curtains oh my goodness <laughs> it's just so memory you know nostalgic Here's a rose embroidered, or is that a, what do you call that, uh, punch? Mom did that for a minute. The, um, the punch with the, you know, what, what's this name for? It's not something punch. Where you have the little yarn pieces and you have the little, the little, um, it's on a little hook, la hook latch. Is it hook latch? Is that what it's called? Hook latch? Oh, Julie looked, it was 1978 on her, her box of plant. So there's a couple pages of that. And I like to put this stuff in, in my, um, this kind of pages in, uh, like my Jane Davenport book in between my Jane. I, it's a, it's a combination of Jane Davenport books and vintage. I, I really like that book. I need to use it more. Of course I need to use all my rug hooking. Is that what it was? Thank you, Kathleen. <clears throat> Look at these bedrooms. Look at that pink. I remember now. Just speaking of pink, now we never had this nice. <laughs> this is this is fancy stuff for uh, when we grew up. But I bet Jonna had that, something like that. But anyway, I remember in my room, um, and we moved all the time. We grew up in the military. We were always moving. But I had a big oval, if mom's listening, I had a huge, big oval pink. My two sisters shared a room, so they would have had twin beds. I had my own room. And I had this huge, like it would have taken up this whole area, pink rug, right? And the pink rug had all that fringe on the end. And then it was, you know, nowadays it would probably look like a bathroom rug, you know. But anyway. It was a huge, big, pretty floor rug, bedroom rug. 
and I love to rearrange my room. I rearranged it all the time. We didn't have, there was not a lot of stuff in there, but I was always rearranging it. Rearrange, putting the beds here, the dresser, you know, and then I'd clean it all up and I'd put my rug and I would get down the floor and I'd do this with my fingers all the way around the fringe and, and flatten out the fringe real nice. So all the fringe was perfectly flat. And then I'd take my hand and on the carpet part, I'd flatten it. I'll go all one way. So there was no, the carpet was just all perfectly flattened out. And my sisters could not wait to come and mess up that rug. They would do it every time. They could not wait to go in my room that I just freshly cleaned and rearranged and straightened out my rug. <laughs> yes, finger raking. Yes, exactly, Julie. And they would go in there and mess it up, step all over it, you know, mess up all the fringe. They wouldn't do it with me in there. They'd wait till I stepped out, right? And then they'd go in there and mess it up. Of course, I knew they did it. It wasn't mom. Mom didn't go in there. <laughs> Anyway, that just brought back that memory because it was this color pink. It was that color pink. Okay. Okay. So here's how a seed grows. I like this. I'm going to keep this with, um, cause I like, here's my little quote. I keep handy. Thoughts are seeds. You choose what to grow. So look that that's going to go with this. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here with my. <laughs> okay, a little, uh, another little recipe card and a little um, wine label, a little wine label, another wine label. Look how cool these are. These are nice wine labels, very nice wine labels. And it looks like a little, oh, it's like a little game. I don't know what game. I don't know which. I don't play bridge. I don't know what game tally card this is for. There's a little, um, some little stickers, little address label stickers. <clears throat> you remember raking your carpet too? See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it was green. Was yours green? You'd rake your shag carpet. Was yours green? Like that uh, avocado green, uh, Kalora? Avocado green that you'd rake the shag carpet? <laughs> Tanya said, my grandmother had a formal dining room. No one was allowed to sit in there. Plastic on couch. I never saw her use it all my life. Not even like on Thanksgiving or Christmas, Tanya? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so somebody said, okay, Kalura's was gold, Christine's was orange, ours was, lime, uh, not, I say lime green, it's avocado green, avocado green. Okay, what teenagers, oh, well, I guess this was, I'm, I'm looking at the article, but she sent the, <laughs> the picture of the home. So, so, look at those lamps there. I mean, it's just so funny to go back and look at it, right? Here's another children's book play page. Steam is water vapor that you can see. <clears throat> Again, I'd already, these were all nicely packaged, all straightened out and piled up neatly. I took them out to put in the thing, so they're out of order. Precision tune, things to do today, little list. <laughs> Ray cars. <laughs> Oh, I know, right? Yours was green, avocado green. Yeah, it was avocado green, harvest gold. And what was the orange called? The orange had a name too, but it was harvest gold, avocado green, and something orange. Those were like, you know, and then of course they had the pink. The pink was like, you know, bedroom colors. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see, the Dixie Cup Dispenser. The boy who smelled. <laughs> Just more ads and things, you know. Look at this room. These people had money. August 1959. Look at that room. Did any of y'all have a room that nice growing up? <laughs> 
Hi, Almeras. I'm, I do accuse Jonna and Darcy of having rooms like this. I bet they did. Just saying. Uh, okay, here's some more. Their house grew up. Okay, here's mom sewing something. Uh, so she probably decorated this herself, right? She sewed all those curtains, too. She probably made the rug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, here's a little, a little recipe card. Coconut cream chiffon pie. What's cooking? What's cooking in the... Um, children's book here, mom doing dishes, playing baseball, let's see, here's um, Precious Moments, Precious Moments girl, I think I'm just packing it, I'm, I'm going at it from the wrong side because everything's on the other side here, stop hot water murder, <laughs> use warm water, swan, I don't think that's around anymore. Swan dish soap. But um, Carol, some years ago, gave us this tip that if you put your golden matte medium in a dishwasher, I think Dawn is the one that's most popular now. But if you put it in the dishwasher uh, soap, then you can just flick that lid. And, and it's so easy to use your golden matte medium. Mine um, got clogged up after like five years and I do have another Dawn dish soap under the sink. I need to try to hurry up and do some dishes <laughs> and use that up so I can use it for my uh, for my art supplies. Okay, so I'm a washer. I'm a dryer. Let's see what else. I love this stuff. It's just so no nostalgic to me. There's some more precious moments. Here is a page out of a... Uh, one of the pattern books, you know, one of the pattern books. And Jonna always puts something like this in her kits because she likes these vintage pattern girls and she'll cut them out. She uses them in air. She uses them all the time. She'll use them, the guys and the girls and she'll use them like, she'll cut them out and use them in her Bible journaling. <laughs> so cute. She has the cutest Bible journaling. She'll have these girls in the Bible journal. They'll be Ruth, you know. <laughs> Mary Magdalene. She'll use these girls in her Bible journaling. And it's just really fun. Yeah, it is fun to look at, isn't it, Darlene? Um, okay, so Spencer, there are five of us. Nothing new state. It all got passed down. You're second in line. Well, there's three of us, three girls. And my grandma, when we were in elementary school, she made all our clothes. Well, that was back when fabric was cheaper than buying it in the stores, right? Now, it's it's cheaper to buy it than to make it. But back then, Grandma made all our clothes when we were elementary school. So there's that. Then here's Future Homemakers Club. And uh, President, Vice President. You know, you always wonder, where are these people now? What happened to these people? Well, it's, they're probably not. I don't know if they're still alive. But um, Future Homemakers of America. So I was trying to look for a date, but there isn't one. But look. It looks like it must have been in Florida. <clears throat> Modern Miss Hand Heart Heart Hand ha, Head Hand Heart Health The 4-H Girls This is about my mom's high school days right about here This this looks like my mom in high school <laughs> There's a color page Again, I'm flipping them over because I've obviously got the wrong side. <clears throat> Shopping. Here's a little poem. Here's a kitchen poem. Here's another ad. Or is this a story? Oh, this is a story. I used to love these kind of things in magazines. The little stories. Um, some of them were kind of creepy. <laughs> but I remember like, you know, mom or grandma would have magazines with these stories in them look at that look on her face doesn't she just look like she's looking for trouble <laughs> now mom and i uh now mom and i every sunday night when there's a new hallmark mystery we text each other so now we're on our phones texting each other about the hallmark mysteries every every sunday night well not every whenever there's a new one 
There was a new one last night, if y'all missed it. Aurora Tea Garden got married last night. <laughs> and it's funny, we don't, well, she probably watches a couple other Hallmark uh, shows, but I just watch the Hallmark Mysteries. And um, yeah, so Aurora Tea Garden got married. Okay, so anyway, and we text each other while we're doing that. Sugar and spice and all things nice. This looks like a, something from a book or maybe some old music or something or an advert oh it's a westinghouse advertisement probably a brochure for it look at that <laughs> you don't sell any more the prices yeah it's just you know the fabric costs more than it costs more to make the clothes but you know it depends on like boo refurbishes she will take she'll go uh to goodwill and she'll buy um she'll buy vintage uh, clothes. Well, no, I mean, she'll buy clothes, some vintage jeans if she can find them, but she'll remake them. She'll cut them up and remake them. So, yeah. Oh, Julie said, growing up in rural Indiana, the 4-H and FFA were the only gangs around. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Good one, Julie. I like that. I got to write that down. That's got to go in the wing nut book. Julie T. Growing up in rural Indiana, the 4-H and FFA were the only gangs around. Oh, my gosh. That's good, Julie. Let me get the uh, let me get the wing nut book. <laughs> so when anybody says something like that's quick quotey, qu quick witted, it gets written down on a post-it note. And look how many look at this, and then just gets slapped in. And um, yeah, if you ever go back and read this, nobody know what the heck you're talking about. But it's a wing nut book because we're all a bunch of wing nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's good julie so um yeah then this last piece here chocolate recipe with some uh, microwave is anybody watching the food that made america on the history channel they've done um you know tv dinners they've done soda They've done candy, ice cream. I'm trying to think of all the different ones, but it's the history of food in America and how it all got, you know, how the different things got started. Fast food, you know, ice cream and popsicles, um, chips, Fritos, you know, and chips. But anyway, this just reminded me because there was one for the uh, thing on uh, the microwave when the first TV dinners well, just oven ones, and then somebody else came out with the eye. I can't remember all their names. Was it Swanson? I don't remember. But anyway, it's the history of all the... Uh, you've watched some, Kathleen? They're so interesting. They're so interesting. If you, if you have the History Channel or if you have On Demand, go in your On Demand and look for the... Because they'll be in there, uh, the past episodes, and watch some of them because they're really good. Okay, so here is my home. Let me put the book on top so I'll know which kit this is. So this is the home kit. And again, there's here's the uh, vintage um, sheet that she makes envelopes out of. And this is going to go in its own little sleeve. I have to show you, uh, let me show you what I've done with one of the kits. I bought a Christmas kit from her uh, like, uh, back on Halloween. I mean Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving. And I made a, uh, I used the Christmas cards that I got from you guys. Let's see if I can. So with the vintage kit. And with the Christmas cards, I stuck a couple extra ones in here that haven't made it in here yet. But so this is what I made with one of her kits, uh, one of Jonna's kits. I put the rings on here like this, use one of her little, um, you know, pattern girls. This came in the kit. This came in the kit. This all this came in the kit. I think the rings even came in the kit. 
and um, the little the little um, you know ball fuzz ball came in the kit. So what I did with it is I made a thing to hold the Christmas cards. Uh, they come from there right there. Pacola just posted it. It's Jonna. It's Preppy Crafty Girl, her Etsy shop. And they're all, she has all different ones. That puts a glare. Let's move that over here. So this was one that I made. See, look, she had the Christmas. Um, this one was a, um, a Christmas album, like it, from the 50s, 60s. It was a Christmas album and uh, cut down to make, well, you'll see when I open it up. So just tied this around here. To have a closure. Okay. And so you can see it was from, it was an album, a record album. Here's the front, here's the back. Johnny Mathis, you can see Percy Faith, Mitch Miller, Bing Crosby. So it was a Christmas album and cut down to make the. So what I did is I made it like a pop out kind of thing. So I took the cards and let's see, where does it go here? So, and I put her, this is her uh, information. This comes with her kits when she has a, like a little, you know, her information. I put that in the very back, but I made it. So the whole thing pulls out the whole, the whole thing is all made of Christmas cards from you guys. Well, a couple from family, but they mostly you guys. So you can see here. So it's <laughs> let me just kind of go through. And it's front and back. So it's front and back. So let me see if I can kind of flip it to show you. So it's front and back. And it's the Christmas cards from you guys. And I made it like a accordion fold, an accordion fold Christmas card book. I just attach each one to the, themselves. And then, of course, it's all on the back, too. It's just a <laughs> Christmas cards I could fit in one book. So, you see, so that's what I did with uh, this vintage kit, Christmas uh, kit that I bought from Jonna and uh, made it into a little Christmas, uh, yeah, for cards, yeah. And uh, so that goes in that kit. This one comes on here. So I'll wrap it, I can wrap it twice here. And I want to put the little tassel, I mean the little pom-pom on there. Tie a pretty bow. So I made this like this last Christmas with one of her kids. You like that? Yeah, it's so easy. And all you just do is just, you know, figure out a way to attach everybody's Christmas cards. And if you cover up the sentiment, then you can just write their name at the bottom of each card, you know, so you don't have to have the sentiment showing. You can just have the card, the front of the card showing. And then at the bottom, you can write who it's from. So, yeah, that was her, one of her vintage Christmas cards. Christmas kits that I bought. Okay. And again, if y'all missed it, let me show real quick. Y'all missed it. Whoever sent the cats, the treats, and the sushi toys, <laughs> whoever sent this to the cats, thank you so very much. I'm thinking of Sharon L., who doesn't come in the show maybe once every few years because she has health issues and stuff. But if that's who sent it, then thank you, Sharon. If not, if you want to, whoever wants to fess up to who sent this to the cats and then the little vegetables. <laughs> oh, I love all the sushi. I, I gave one to Malibu a minute ago and she was just having a fit, rolling all around on it. I think she's sle actually sleeping next to it right now. She's on the floor next to me sleeping with the sushi. Okay, so let me put this ribbon back in here. Oh, no, that goes in the next kit, So, Okay, so that was the home kit. Then I bought the Paris kit. So let's pull that out. She only had one of these, and I bought it, so sorry. Oh, i got to put these Christmas cards back. Like there's two of them that uh, got later, so they need to be just in there. <clears throat> so I bought the Paris one, and again, a vintage sheet. Look at this. <laughs> Everything was tucked in here, 
in the vintage um, sheet. She makes these again, and they always smell so nice, and she has a secret scent. Hi, Arlene. How you doing? Anybody else? I missed. I say hi to Devin Rex, Shelly. Hi, CNP. Uh, anybody else? Spill the sushi beans, faithful mess. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, isn't it cute? It's a vintage sheet. That's what she makes all her kit envelopes out of. And then she added, she just included a little extra here, a little extra fabric. So, yeah. So that was what, this is, a, this kit is Paris. Okay, this is a Paris kit. Extra buttons. Little, little um, buttons, little thing here's some little floor de lee a little what's this one a little hummingbird i think what is that a little hummingbird no what is oh it's a little parrot it's a little parrot i had it upside down and uh just some little extra oh that's a shoe this one no they're shoes it look like a parrot a little shoes a little string and it comes in the little vintage well i don't know how vintage is it looks vintage you know, the, the extras that come with something when you buy some clothes. So cute. Um, that's so cool. Hard to believe it holds me. You mean the little book? You mean the book, that Christmas card book, Shelly? Hi, perfectly, Patty. <clears throat> okay. So she sent this, um, whoops, she sent this, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, embossing folder, which I do have an embossing, the handheld one. I don't have the one that's <laughs> the Tim Holtz electric one. I have a kind of crank one. You crank it and emboss. Should I go get it and make some emboss? Oh, maybe I should. I don't know. Anyway, so let's see if I can tilt it so you can see. So there's the Eiffel Tower, Florida de Lis, some words, Paris, some different things. But this is a Sizzik. Tim Holtz, uh, you know, the, what do you call it? Dot. Maybe put some black paper. So, we're sketching today sometime today. There we go. You can see it a little better. So she included that in the kit. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Rachel. <laughs> And then she sent this little pack of, and I don't remember what year this came out, 2012. This was 2012. Uh, was it Prima? Yeah, Prima. There's a little flower. Prima paper pad. So she included this. Some Paris papers. I probably had this pack at some point way back when. So that's in the kit. She has little uh, stamps, faux stamps, and some little stickers, a little little camera, a little cat stamp, just little little you know things like this. Um, here's a little stamps. Okay, then she had Paris in um, Scrabble tiles. Again, she always shows these kind of, you know, really big kits like this. She shows them in her um, YouTube channel. All right, so here is Marsa Marse Marseille. How do you say it? Marseille? Marse yeah. Uh, different places. We'll just say that. <laughs> In France, there's Paris flags. I barely can get char Charbonnet out <laughs> for CB Charbonneau, CB uh, postcard. Here's a little. Um, this is one of the little um, of France. The little um, you might be able to see some of them. Oh, but you know what? Let's do this. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if this will work. You go to my mag, magnifying. I gotta find it now. Where is it? Where's the the mag the mag light and the magnifying? So I never hardly remember to use it, and it's so it works so good too. When I can find it, 
<laughs> Let me do a search. Magnify. There's a mag light. Okay, here we go. All right, so now I got our mag light. Now we're going to zoom in. We're going to zoom zoom in. We need a light behind. Okay, maybe you can see. Can you see? Just imagine you have one of those... Um, spin it. One of the little, um, you know, the little things that you click to turn it. Isn't that cool? I know, right? Isn't it, Nat? Okay, so there we go. So there's um, this. That came with, you know, one of those little, they were usually red, and you clicked it down, and this would turn one, click it, and it would turn one, and a viewfinder, a viewfinder, I think, viewmaster, thanks, Kalora, viewmaster, yeah, a viewmaster, okay, so then here's some fondue, French fondue, Francais, little, little card, some wallpaper, flocked kind of wallpaper. Here's a piece. And she's and she does say that she'll put every now, you know, she'll put some wallpaper, I mean some uh, scrapbook paper if it applies to that whatever kit is. Uh, even though it may not be old, but it looks old, it's vintage looking. Uh, but most everything she puts in, other than maybe some scrapbook paper, it's all vintage stuff. But like this is from a scrapbook pad or cane company or something but she'll tell you in the in the in there this is from the cane company but you know because it fits the kit right this is another piece of wallpaper some more a couple of more pieces of um scrapbook paper the french girl the song so there's a couple sheets of music in here you had you didn't know you could do that Shelly with your phone yeah it's the it's if you put in your search if you don't know where it is go to your search look I just put in mag and it came up I didn't even have to put in mag light but you just do that and then there it is your mag light right there you click on it and there we go so and it's also a light too it's a light like let's there's the light see the light it makes it a light and you can turn the light off and then there's just the there's the magnifying and you can just zoom in and zoom out there you go yeah yeah <clears throat> okay all right so let's see what else is in here mine is i always have to do the, put it in the search because i never can find the actual icon for it <laughs> Here's some uh, cane company. I think it was cane company that made these uh, stickers too. All right, so let's see here. What else do we have? Some mold. Oh, Vermont magic. Oh, Vermont made syrup. My tea find like like pudding or Jello. Oh, let's see. Here's a little poem. Again, she had them all nice and neat. I I flipped them out. Here's Napoleon. Oh, she was she was wanting to know what I was going to do with um, Napoleon, and she, she had anyway. Um, yeah, check that. Here we go. This is what she was. At. I think she was wanting to know what I was going to do with this 18th century French French dress. Again, cut these out. Here's this is oh it's a little game. Look, New York to Paris to play the like like a Candyland game, right? Like a little Candyland game. <laughs> yeah, forget reading your glass your reading glasses. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little from New York to Paris car race. I guess you could use those little buttons to play it. Let's see. The Art of French Relaxation, Air France. 
out of films. Oh, here, Mar Marie Antoinette, Francis Tragic Queen. What's this? Oh, these are some little post-its, little post-it note, uh, post-it flags. Oh, let's see. Is there a thing? Here it is. Memo, you know, the little the little flags. Look, here's some little Paris ones. And then the little uh, no. I don't know who you are. Don't answer unknown phones calls. Okay, so they have look little suitcases. Just little, you know, little post-it note flags. So there's that. Sticky memo. Here is some more scrap of paper. This was um, se Seven Gypsies, I believe. Because Seven Gypsies made these papers in like 9 by 9. I think it's 8 by 8, 9 by 9. So she sent me some of those. Here is a uh, vintage. Oh, I say vintage. I don't know how old, you know, is considered vintage or just like <laughs> you know, a little old uh, roadmap of France. So here we have a full roadmap of France. See, look, isn't this cool? Isn't this cool, guys? Now, let's see if I can find a year on here. I was trying to find a year. 19. No, that's probably not it. Well, maybe 1985 to 87. So 1985 to 1987. Map of France. Sorry, guys. I mean to smack y'all in the face. <laughs> There we go. So, roadmap of France. Here's the bag everything came in. Oh, another piece of a uh, piece of a Fran of Europe map. Here's a um, touch of Paris recipes, scallops and noodles, Paris models. Original Paris models, half price. Oh, I'm sure the models aren't half price. The dresses are probably half price. <laughs> I know. So much goes into these kits. I know. And that's for sure. And sometimes she'll, she'll show, she'll do a video on her YouTube channel of putting kits together. Y'all need to follow Preppy Crafty Girl, I'm telling you. She and uh, her sister um, Darcy used to do videos uh, where they'd make projects and kits and, you know, paper projects and stuff. But then Jana went to Australia. She um, she went into she went to Australia uh, to become a uh, camera woman. She went to college. She's well. She's just. I think she just graduate. No, yeah, she just graduate. And I think she wants to go back to Australia for another degree. But right now, you know, she hasn't been. She's been doing it all online. So Hillsong. She went to. She I guess graduated now, uh, and. Uh, got a degree and I don't know what the technical name of her degree is, but she was, she became a camera woman, a camera woman. <clears throat> so anyway, here's a couple of calendar pages. So she's been doing it online for the last, I guess, year. Some more little things of France, some postcards, a postcard. Let's see what year this is. Another year. Not seeing a year of when the postcard was made, but there's a postcard. Some little uh, cards, just some little uh, note cards, another note card, and then some washi tape. <clears throat> I hope y'all enjoying seeing these kits. I mean, I know she's shown a lot of them, most of it on her YouTube channel, but I'm just getting to go through it myself. <laughs> so. Let me put this in the in her envelope here, which is, you know, handmade vintage sheet envelope. Let's see if I can get that all in there. I don't think I have it neat enough. But it came in it, so I know it fits, because it all comes in here. 
and this has the Paris fabric, so I'll know which kit this is. I'm trying to do it neatly. Let's see if I can flip it. Here we go. That's 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. Doesn't want to fit. Here we go. And I'll show you the washi tape. So, yeah, she does put a lot in her kit. Y'all saw I got one of her Bible kits um, a month or so ago. And I showed that. Okay, I'll put this in here for now. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll put this whole kit in one of my sleeves to then I can still get in here and get dig into it. There's my Paris, and so these are the washi tapes. Hi, Angel. Is that you, Orla? Hi, Orla. Good to see you. How's things going? Are y'all the? Have y'all been able to get on the road again? Well, I'm not in Canada. I don't think y'all been able to get out yet again. So here's some Paris washi tape or well, France. So there's that. Good to see you, Orla. Oh, let me put my little stamps in here. Then there's this Paris washi tape. Not on the road yet, but soon. Okay, well, good. I know you're looking forward to that. Then here is some, um, uh-oh, tore the little cup off there. Let's start that over. Some little cafe. It's like a little cafe, Paris cafe. Isn't that cute? Cute. Oh, you didn't see the Bible kit? You have to go look. Go look back. And double, yeah. And on the and on some of her Bible kits, I bought two different ones that had um, the old uh, hymnals in it, and the old um, Swedish hymnal. Well, I'm not going to worry about closing this right now because we'll be here a while if I try to do. That. I'll, I'll re I'll rearrange it after a while. Yeah. Um, here they are sitting right over here. Um, Riri, so old gospel hymnal, one of these. She was she sold these in her kits, and then this one's a vintage one. And these, and she tells you they're all falling apart. They're very old. I think I forget what year she said they were, but they're. Um, she she went to an old church, and um, they were selling a whole bunch. She bought a whole bunch of these Swedish little mini hymnals and they're they're they are falling apart they're they're falling apart so and you can use them in your bible journal okay so the last thing i got was um a pack of papers vintage papers and again oh this is the ribbon here um i'm gonna put them in a sleeve here um <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I haven't taken these out yet. I've just seen her show them uh, at some point. I don't remember. So they're they're tied up in a knot. So I'm going to untie the, uh, you know, cut the twine off here. And show you this. So these are all just different vintage papers that you can use in junk journaling, your art journaling. Let me take a sip of my cranberry juice. So here's her, this is her card. So this is what her Etsy shop looks like when you go, it's yellow, all yellow. Little postcard a vintage flash card <laughs> and little mini little pieces. I think there's a hundred pieces. So I'm going to kind of go through it quick. I think it's a hundred things, little um, dictionary papers, all kinds of papers, you know, just different dictionaries, 
different sizes, matte paper. Here's a from like a magazine. I'll have to show this to Hubster. He probably get because he Hubster loves uh, vintage, uh, vintage, old movies. This looks like is that Cary Grant? No, I don't think it is. It just kind of looks like him. But I think I have to pull this out and show him. He'll get a kick out. That's from a McCall's. 1950 McCall's magazine. Remember, she goes to all these flea markets and she finds all this vintage stuff. I'm going to pull that out, show Hubster. He's finishing up a biography on Errol Flynn right now. Here's another map. Charming children. I don't know. Um, shoes. Just kids, you know, children's book pages, dictionary pages, some kind of uh, weights and measures, just all kinds of things, little recipes, just all kinds. And I, again, I just now cracked it open. Mm -mm. The flashcard's a division. It's a division flashcard. Divide one into nine. <laughs> That's what it is, division. I, well, and this is old math. <laughs> Rachel, you you probably remember the division. Hey, Uncle Dan. Um, here is basic French vocabulary and grammar. Some making lampshades. Different advertisements. Look at this. Look at this old Sears and Roebuck. dry goods just all kinds of just just random papers looks like i have an art book this looks like out of an ideal magazine planners just a little of everything a little of everything flowers Skeletons of porpoise, more florals and vegetables. These look like a, some kind of a some kind of a history print thing. Winner of the Derby race, eighteen thirty six. Ferns and and cycads. I want to say cicada. <laughs> Uh, visitors from Ireland book. Oh, just I mean, just so many pages. Like I said, I think there's a hundred in here. A hundred different pages from different little encyclopedias and books and dictionaries. <clears throat> Kids dictionary. kind of scales I know y'all probably can't see much of this I just want to kind of flip through it cats charts kids books more vintage dictionary pages music papers stories This looks like out of a vintage yearbook, music, graph papers, ledger papers, the Halloween parade, more fondue. <laughs> oh, just so much, right? It's just so fun to have this kind of increments and corrections. Oh, this is um, the different phases of the moon. Or the stars, planets, sun, planets, Aries, moon. Um, so, yeah. Table of irregular verbs. I know. We, I don't know how we'd live without knowing that. <laughs> uh, more recipes, fruits wildflower chart home pictures she puts a lot in here can't y'all see this is a lot right more music papers and i'm kind of some of them i'm not even 
there's doubles here and I'm not even flipping through all every single sheet architecture charts art self, self quiz in classroom deportment 75 true and false items okay true or false any student may talk in the classroom without being recognized by the teacher. It's a true or false test. Receiving personal telephone calls while at school does not interfere with the classroom instruction. Send this to Janet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. Oh, yeah, we got to send this, these rules to Janet, you know, because she's always in the naughty corner. Let's see. Good habits formed in school are likely to be carried over into the beauty salon. Notebooks or workbooks are of no value to the student for review. This is funny. Uh, I might have, I'm going to pull that out. Uh, that may have to go to Janet. That one right there. <laughs> that has to go to Janet. Good one, Rachel. Uh, isn't it funny how she thought right of you, Janet? <laughs> There's just so much, you know, some things from art books and what's this one? Graphical symbols for electrical equipment of buildings. Very cool looking, though. Look at this. Anybody going to wire a building this year? <laughs> math problems, division problems. I love math. I really do. Everything but algebra, because algebra does not make any sense. Geometry, fractions, regular, any kind. I love math. But look, I, I love these math problems. Just don't give me algebra. Uh, let's see, because nobody can explain it to me. Oh, look at these rock formations. This would be good for some, some cool texture ideas. Look at that. Pinky mum. Um, civilization, French in three years. Uh, here's a bunch. I was going to say nuns, but office workers. Oh, it's the Red Cross. They're not, I guess, with the Red Cross. They're not nuns, I guess. Or maybe they're no. No, I guess maybe the Red Cross wore that, those headdresses like that. This is a Red Cross. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, it's from, uh, it's, now this is, I think, well, I don't know. It's pretty fragile, but I don't know if it's an actual December 16th, 1941 paper. It's probably, oopsie, it's probably out of a magazine with the photograph of that uh, day, right? I'll pull that out for a hubster to look at, too. I like that. Here's some uh, more pat patterns. Some uh, stationery from Zanesville Downtown Association. Here's something from 1955 conference in Geneva, Switzerland. That's kind of cool. I'll pull that out too for us. Okay, so there we go. So those were like a hundred. I think she said a hundred vintage maps, papers, dictionary. You know, all kinds of papers. So again, let's put her little thing there. Let's put it, and I'll just put it in one of my own. This is one of my own sleeves here. This is how I'm collecting or sorting, organizing some of these kind of kits and papers that I have. Is putting them in these sleeves. Okay, so I hope you'll enjoyed all the kits. Thank you, Sister Woman Jana. That's what I call her, Sister Woman. And um, yeah, Crafty Crafty Girl on Etsy. All right, now I got, this is from Donna in uh, Trinidad, Tobago, and she um, she's collecting these. Let me take her little letters off and notes. And uh, it's for, um, for a collage fodder. And uh, again, I keep these, I keep it all together here until, 
with the paper clip till I get to your collage fodder. So what I do is I'll show it, then I put it in our collage fodder to make collages out of your fodder pile. And then when I pick one, I never remember who what anybody put in it. So, but this is what she sent from, um, let's see, she has some little notes. I like the monster behind the trees. Oh, look, <laughs> there's a monster peeking out from behind the tree. So she put a little note on, oh, here it is. This goes together. Oh, look, it's a whole big thing here, I guess. I, just, I guess that goes that way. So anyway, that's kind of cool. So anytime I do these, I just kind of go through and pick what I want out of the stash that you send me. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, send me and make a collage out of it. Send me a lot of perfume and girls. So I'm guessing maybe she's very feminine. Oh, I love this. I love these popsicles. Look, like kind of like dreamsicle looking things. This could be has some windows in almost look like leaning tower of pizza there. And there's some more girls. Some more girl. I haven't looked through this, so yeah. Y'all have seen it with me. A lot of fashion magazine girls. So we'll have to do a we'll have to do a collage with this, these for decor. So she's saying to use the jewelry for I like to use them for planets. Like this kind of stuff. These are great planets right here. Look, aren't those great planets? <laughs> so thank you Donna for contributing to the a watch contributing to the uh, collage fodder project so as I um, a little paper clip somewhere let me put her notes here and put all this together and um, yeah that'll go in the to do pile which is right there I have actually have an envelope for it. All right. So next, let's see. What else did I have? Show and tell. I think I got all the show and tell done. So now maybe we can do some drawing. So I started this one this morning just because, just because. I just looked through uh, pictures I have saved of things to draw. So what I did is I first sketched it out. If you have any questions, just ask. I sketched it out with some Conti crayon, some brown. I sketched it out with some brown Conti crayon. And then I went over it just with one of these Sharpie pens just to ink, start to ink it. So then I started to ink it, and then I erased the Conti crayon. And this is what we're left with. So here's the last one that we did. This was the last thing we did was... The little red panda with paint with acrylic paint but i thought maybe we should just maybe we could just do something in black and white because we we never really ink or just do things in black and white so maybe we could do that but um what i thought i'd do first is get a suggestion from y'all and do draw one more draw something else sketch it and ink it like just outline it you know line art it and then we'll decide if we want to paint it or just ink it because that's kind of tedious if we just want to you know cross hatch it add some white um add some you know highlights to it you know <clears throat> or whether we want to do it in color or just in black and white with some you know highlights so, y'all, uh, what would y'all like me to just draw? I got a couple of blank sheets here. We can just draw a couple of something. I've got my iPad here. I'll look up some references. Anybody have a request? Taking a request. We'll just do some sketches. Um, well, I'm sure Janet's talking about being a bad girl. <laughs> Thanks, Nat. You like to see yours? And I also found some pictures. I also want to draw one of the another, and I've drawn them before, but it's been a while. The sea dragons. I love these. They have them at the aquarium in Atlanta, and they're so cool looking. The sea dragons. So I like those two. They're they are a form of seahorse. Um, you, <laughs> you want to draw a monster behind the tree. 
Oh, so I really do like the, uh, I like the seahorses too. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hi, CB. A giant squid. Arlene says a giant squid. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be sea related. You like this, everybody liking the sea dragons? They are cool. Let me see which uh, there's that one's pretty cool looking, but it's, it, they are kind of like a version of a seahorse. Let's see here. Let me go over to. I think I kept a couple of my favorites in my photos. Let me look. Uh, did I keep one or two? I thought I did. Ah, oh, here we go. Sea dragons. This one's really cool looking. Look at this one. Look at that one. That one's cool. Well, they're all cool looking. Then they have this version. They have these. This one would be kind of quick. We could probably do one of these. And we could even do it in purple and yellow if you want. And then we could do maybe do one in ink. So let's draw him. I'm going to draw him big. So I'll draw him, I'll just draw him in black. <clears throat> I'll draw him in black and we can paint him because it'll show up. It'll show up. You want to draw along? Okay, draw along. We're going to draw, we're going to draw a uh, sea dragon. All right, so first when you do something that's like big on a full page, now I don't, I don't want to zoom in more and I don't want to zoom out yet because then it'll be too far away. But what you want to do is you want to make sure it's going to fit. If you want to fill the whole page, you don't want to just start and start drawing a big head and then start drawing then you're because you'll run out of room. I mean, you can do that. But what you want to do if you do run out of room is go ahead and just let it go off the page. Don't try to squeeze it in. Because then what will happen is, let me get a little sample here. What will happen is, is if you start trying to, if you start trying to draw up, like let's say you just start drawing a person, you start drawing their head and their body and their arms, and then, and then their legs aren't going to fit in the whole page. Some people will do this and they'll just, <laughs> you know. then, uh, I mean, that's kind of cute if you want a car little cartoon thing, but it, you know, you're, don't try to fit it in is what I'm saying. Don't try to squeeze it in the whatever's left over. Just let it go off the page if it's not going to fit. Okay. Um, hi, Stephanie. Okay. So let's see. So what I want to do, starting up here, he's got his big trumpet nose. You know, he is, this one is a little scratchy. Let me get another one here. Get another piece that feels a little better. Here. There we go. Um, he has his big trumpet nose up here, right? But you got to make sure. Now, let's say that's the top of his head right there. And then he has a little spiky thing coming up. I don't want to get it too dark because it's going to be hard to erase it unless I just paint over it, which sometimes we do. All right. Now what I'm going to do is go all the way down here at the bottom. And his tail is coming up this way. So now I can fit the whole his whole body in. So then the about the middle here. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. And then so right around here is about the middle of his back, right in here. Okay. And then he kind of humps around and kind of swirls around this way. Not quite that hump. Oh, we watched Young Frankenstein again. <laughs> watched young, young Frankenstein again over the weekend. Oh, my gosh. Marty Feldman. If y'all, um, Marty Feldman plays Igor. <laughs> and when he first meets um frankenstein when he first meets yellow and i'm getting this too black i don't want this is going to be too i don't want to get if i start to try to paint that it's going to be tricky um <clears throat> i wouldn't be doing this this dark if it, if it was just me i'd be doing such light lines that you probably wouldn't be able to see them like this but anyway, uh, so Marty Feldman, when he first meets Frankenstein, um, 
Gene Wilder. And uh, Gene Wilder, of course, is supposed to be the grandson, a great grandson of Frankenstein, um, Dr. Franken Frankenstein. And uh, so um, he says, you know, and, and if y'all don't know Igor, or, you know, it's Igor, but they call it in the movie Igor, and he has, he's a hunchback, right? And he says, you know, I can fix that hump. <laughs> and Marty Feldman goes, hump? What hump? <laughs> And then, um, uh, what you call it, uh, just stares, looks down funny. I don't know. And then later on, he goes, wasn't that hump on the other side that moved? Anyway, it's just so funny. If y'all have never seen Young Frankenstein, you don't know you don't know what you're missing there. So I'm just kind of trying to sketch it out here a little bit. And this little arm comes down here. And I'm not, you know, again, when I do these, I'm not necessarily trying to make a, uh, what do you call it? Like, a, I was going to say botanical and anat anatomically correct scientific study, right? I'm kind of just getting the idea of it and just playing with it and doing whatever I want to do. So there's another one of these here like that. This one's a little bigger though. Like that, so something like this, and then he's got this little doctor. I know that's where Dr. Seuss got his idea for those Seussian features, like that. Look, look at that right there. <laughs> and I think that's some little wing things. I think those kind of flutter, those little um wings at the neck, like that. I think they kind of flutter. So, anyway, something like this. And then I need to paint it now. If I'm going to paint it, I should paint it. So we got to start there. So let me um, let me get a baby wipe to clean my hands off. So we might paint this one. Then maybe we'll ink. Maybe we'll ink the um, ink the uh, seahorse or something. Hi, Melinda. Was yes, Terry Gar was in that. Yes, yes, Terry Gar was in that one. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, it came on this weekend. We watched it again. Okay, so it's black, yellow, and purple. So let's get some colors and white, a little bit of white. So I'm going to get out some, oh, let's see, dioxazine purple is probably the closest purple. Some bright yellow. There's a new one. Some black. And some white. We're just going to roll with these colors. <clears throat> we'll just have a little play. <laughs> we'll have a little go. Have a little play. Always make sure you shake up your acrylic paint. And these are just craft paints, guys. They're just uh, Americana craft paints. So I try to use things that everybody can, you know, at least try. What am I drawing, Pat Patricia? It's a C. Um, um, what's it called? I keep my. I want to say sea monster, not sea monster. It's not a seahorse. Sea dragon. Sea dragons. Okay, let me get a snip. The plastic on this. Bye, Julia, and hi, and bye. Thanks for stopping in. All right, so we'll just do a little painting on this guy. Let's see. All right, let me wet my brush. Move these pastels to the side. All right. <clears throat> So sometimes on the brown paper, it can take two coats of yellow, red, or lime green. Those colors are very translucent. So I'm going to add some white to it just to make it a little more opaque. Otherwise, I'll be putting two coats on, which I don't mind doing, but, you know. All right, so let's see. Especially with the um, black uh, charcoal, well, uh, what do you call it, uh, Conti crayon. So we're just going to start painting it. And we'll just kind of make our own version. 
of a sea dragon. We could add some other things to it. You know, we have a we have a habit of doing that. <laughs> so it's a little pale. It's a little white. So once that dries, I can put another coat of the bright yellow over it. But because it's on the brown um, brown paper, it's going to be um, a need. I probably need two coats. But we could add all kinds of fun details to it, whatever we want. Okay, so let's just get some yellow. Let's just get let's get it based in. We're gonna get it based in. But you know, make your own. You know, if you don't think, oh, I can't do it realistically, well then do don't do it realistically. Do it very um, not realistic. <laughs> make it real fun, and you know how you want to do it. Okay, a little yellow there, and have a little yellow on his neck there, a little yellow under his face right there, and then on the end of his horn nose thing, it's yellow there. So we're gonna just do this. And again, we might have to put another coat, but let's start with this. Could you please draw a mermaid? Some um, I've drawn them before. I've drawn for Xandra. Okay, so let's see. Now there's gonna be there's purple stripes, but there's also some lighter purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some white and purple to make a light purple first, and then we'll use the darker purple on the stripes and everything. But like Get in here. Just get it started. We're just this is just like a base coat. You gotta have the base. It's all about the base. <laughs> gotta have the base in there to work on top of. And there's some interesting little um what do you call it? Uh, black and white spotted areas. So this really is more, there's a little bit of red in this purple in this guy, but I don't know if I want to, eh, maybe. Let's see. Let's get a little red purpley. Um, let's get a little uh, raspberry color in here too. Why not? Just a little here. I'm trying to stay in camera. I'll zoom in when we start adding details. But it's fun just to have, and again, this paper is just a roll of craft paper. Um, that shipping paper, it's just a roll of shipping paper, you know? All right. Color. I'm really just wanting to get rid of, I want to get rid of the, uh, whoops, that went yellow there, the black lines. And then I need black and white up there. All right, let's see. Some more purple. But it's all, you know, when you add the details, that's when it's fun. And you could add, like, more leafage, like the, those leafy areas to them. There, um, there's so many different varieties. And you saw that one with the green that had just like tons. It looked like it was actually a leaf, right? It actually looked like a leaf. So, you know, you can add, I could add a whole bunch of purple ones to this or whatever. But I'm just kind of basing it. Okay, we got a little flashed out there. Let's get the color. Let's turn down the brightness. There we go. There we go. All right. Now let's get in some gray here and like i said we can do some inking on the seahorse that i already sketched out earlier if you want to do that okay so let's 
and I'll get rid of some of these lines. So Janet, what are you going to do today? Janet streams at one. Hi, Jacqueline. <clears throat> Unless she's already said, and I probably missed it. Oh, I should get a littler brush. Okay, and a little bit of the magenta color in there. Don't know. I like. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Uh, <laughs> and then there's some uh, white little, like kind of little, um, like little, like little wings that would be fluttering. Have you ever seen one of these in person? They have these little fluttery wings, and then there's another one behind him here. And they just go. What well, let they go? <laughs> Get one back there. So most of it's going to be put in with, uh, de you know, uh, details here in a minute. So now I'm going back over that first yellow to brighten it up. Again, I'm not trying to duplicate it exactly. I just want essence of sea dragon here. <laughs> you can do however you want. It's your sea dragon. And uh, thanks, everybody, that's been participating in the Society of Idea Collector homework. Um, I showed some of the pictures earlier. You have to go. I can't. You have to, to read them, though. You have to go over there and, and see them. All right. So now that layer, let's get that layer dry. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to make these little wings look more detailed. Let's dry this. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure it's 100% dry before you try to go in and erase your sketch lines. Otherwise, you'll just be smearing them. Okay, so I'm going to get a different brush here. Okay, let's um now let's see if I can go in here and get rid of some of my charcoal lines, Conti crayon lines. I covered most of them up, but there's a few. Should get my brush out, my drafting brush. Hang on, and a fresh baby wipe. So you're not smearing things. <clears throat> Got so into side fabric hunt that I started to quilt again. Oh my gosh, Rachel. Now I'm not sure that was the purpose. It, it, it's the purpose of the exercise if you're doing something creative with your ideas. Doesn't matter what, you know, whatever it is that you like to do, as long as you're enjoying it. That's that's the idea. So yay, Rachel. Okay, so now fresh baby wipes. So now I'm gonna get in here with my other brush. What I do with it here it is and add some more detail. Um, I think I can zoom in a little, but I just have to keep remembering to move this because once I zoom in, you know, th this is a tall paper. Um, this is like um, 
I don't know. Let me measure 12. Well, it's probably about a 12 by 14, something like that. So, all right. So now I want to get in here with, that didn't erase very well. It didn't erase very well at all, but, um, okay. So now I want to get in here with a little bit more paint before I go in with pencil. So, and you can do as much with paint or as much with pencil as you want. So I want to get a little bit of, just a little bit more. And you can, uh, because it's acrylic paint, craft paint, matte craft paint, you can, um, you can go in here with uh, pencil and do so much blending on here. which I'm going to do. I'm going to do with pencil, but I just kind of feel like playing with a little bit of this paint. Because <clears throat> you can get more detail with the sharp pencil. I mean, I could get a fine liner out, but I don't really want to do that, so. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have to do a little higher hump here because I can't get that line to erase, so we'll just do that. Okay. So what's everybody else doing today? Are y'all doing anything creative, fun, challenging? Oh. Gary, what are you working on? I saw you doing a... a I didn't get to go, but I saw you doing sketches one day. And I think you did uh, something else on Instagram. I think the Titan book, I think he's finished the next one. And I know I backed it. I don't know when it's going to ship. Still learning how to do pen and wash. You know, the thing about doing washes with actual pens, depending on the pen, it's going to be the pen. It's going to depend on how uh, the kind of ink. Some pens just to have so much more um, waterproofness than others. So it depends on what you want to do with it. But, yeah. So anyway, th what's fun about something like this, guys, it's just it's just shipping paper. It's nothing expensive. You're not, you know, you get a whole roll for, well, I don't know, I haven't bought one in a while. But I think when I bought this roll, it was $3. And it's just so fun to play on with just some craft paint. You can just do so much with it. Like, a, this is the last one we did. I think this was the last thing we did here. With it, with it. This is these little um, sketches of some little red pandas. There's the colors we used, pencil colors we used. And here's another close up face. Did that one. But we've done tons of these. Oh, happy birthday, Almaris! I'm using D recommend bit yeah the those are easy to me the bit crystals <laughs> they are um, yeah they're the easiest thing in the world to do uh, pen and ink with because you can get thin and thick lines you can shade with uh, what she's talking about is let me see I got one over here I don't know the big pens big pens they come in lots of colors. They're, these are so fun and easy to um, ink with. 
Okay, so let's just keep going up here. Just put a little white here and there, a little white. We'll go in here with pencil. I'm just trying to find some base colors. Yeah, I love I love work. That's what I did all my movie monsters my way that year for Inktober. I did them all with uh, I drew them all with um, big pens, and then um, inked them with big pen and some. Uh, like you know, ink that you dipped your your a brush in for the big the heavy blacks. Okay, let's go back in here with some brighter yellow. Got to keep moving. <clears throat> All right. All right, I got it based in now. We'll go in with a pencil. Try this. Hi, right, Gavin. Thanks for stopping in. Pencils. Oh, I did do just spent a little bit of time working in my this journal. I finished up this page and I worked more on this page. And I think one more. So I've been working a little bit in this book. Alright, it's just sitting here on top of my pencil, so that's why. <laughs> All right, get my pencils out here. Let's move the box of coffee crayon off here. The room. All right. I do want to put just a little bit more black in a couple places. So I can pencil over the, this. nicely right. now thanks hi Carla did you ever have a hard time picking colors it depends on what it is if it's a portrait yeah sometimes because skin tones are so varied all right, let's try. Uh, 
and sometimes it just depends. Like these aren't the exact colors of the actual creature, but you know, I'm just kind of going close. But I'm not. All, I'm not doing a scientific illustration. All right. So I think what I first want to do move some of this out of the way. A sharpener here. So it depends. It also depends on what I'm using. Am I, am I using pan pastels, color pencil, paint? You know, it depends on what I'm using as to what. And this pencil, for whatever reason, this pencil just really, let me try to sharpen it from the other end. I don't know what, this must be an old one or something. <laughs> yeah, that's better. I don't know what I did to crack that side. I don't have I don't have too many problems with my prisma colors. Every now and then we get one that wants to be fin and it's probably, you know, I've bought sets over the years, so many different sets. So no telling when that particular set because this is not one set, this is just a mixture, right? This is a combo of all kinds. I think I might need a little indigo blue, my white, my black. And yellow. Oh, yellow. Oh, I don't think I, I don't know. I don't really need too much yellow ochre. Not a lot of shading there. And the yellow is pretty just bright yellow. Oh, thank you, Nats, for the Canadian super chat. Let me write you down. Hang on. Let me write you down. Thank you so much. Let me click on you. There we go. Thank you so much. I'm doing L Manage for. Oh, that was nice of you. Yeah, so everybody make sure and wish Elmeris happy birthday. Thank you, Nats. <laughs> All right. So I think Elmeris already is getting, she's already on the list to get a print anyway. So you'll be getting one too, Nats. You and Elmeris will get a print um, the first week of July. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so let's see what I want to start here. I think I'm going to go in here with my black and then some Posca. Okay, so in some of the areas of his little uh, body, there is um, polka dots. He's kind of polka dotted. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm making some of these areas a little like, let's see, his eye. Let's make his eye up here. And it's black there. So I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Let's see if I can Let's get a little bit of light there. So now I'm going to come in here with polka dots. Let's do his little eye. His eye is really doesn't have any highlight in it, but I, I don't want it to, we don't want to lose the eye there. So now I'm going to do some polka dots. Now you're not going to see this. I'll have to hold it up. Do a little pointillism. So did anybody do anything fun over the weekend? I know a couple of girls answered that earlier when I first came in. He's wearing yellow polka dot <laughs> bikini. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me go get a little bit of highlight under there. But at Christmas and Halloween, we always make fun animals. We'll add things to them, lipstick and all kinds of <laughs> oh, fingernail polish. We just, it's fun to do the animals at Christmas and Halloween. Something like this. So let's get a little bit of the magenta down in here. 
And let's just add a little bit up in there. Why not? <laughs> I went on one of Mary's hops for the first time. Oh, did you, were you participating in the, I mean, did you make a video, Rachel? That's what I meant. Were you in the hop or did you just go to the hops? So if y'all don't know, Mary does uh, all kinds of, um, of hops every month where you go from video to video. You go from one, um, one video to another video. So Rachel, were you in one or, I mean, did you do a video? Hi, Judy. So now I'm just going to play with some shading and uh, pencil detail. Maybe make him a little more stripey than he actually is. Let's put a few more stripes on him. You can add, just do whatever you want. Patricia. And we can make him like glowy. And just do whatever. I don't know. I'm just kind of, we're winging it as we go. But let's make a little bit of flickery shadow in this. These are like, these would be moving. Same for this down here. These are like those moving. I have to do something like maybe, let's see, let's try the pasta. Maybe we could do some, make the edges a little flowy. So they look like they're kind of flickering maybe. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's put some white here so I can add yellow, bright yellow over the top of that. I think I'm going to, do I want to outline him? I'll do a pencil. All right, let's see. I got laughing so hard. Poor Mary was um, from. Um, I don't know really what you're talking about, Rachel. I, I, I can't follow that whole conversation. I just wanted to. <laughs> were you were you in the hop or were you going to the hop? I didn't catch that part. <clears throat> So I want to make him kind of more fun. So let's let's do some more fun stuff on him. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you went to the hop. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't go to them. So I forgot what the topic was. I think the topic, was it travel or was that last time? She did a couple of hops recently. So let's see. Little polka dots take a while. Time travel. Thank you, Rachel. I couldn't remember. I guess it was. Uh, she. Did, I can't remember. Then what was the one week before? She had like two. What was it? I don't know. I try to keep up, but it's hard. <laughs> I need to somebody was asking me about my axolotl that I did some time ago and I cut it out and I put it on another background and I don't know where he went I think I might have stuck him in a sketchbook but <clears throat> so I want this to kind of look fluttery as well. Like fins, kind of. I'm gonna make this one bigger. I just want I want it to almost look like a bow tie. <laughs> um. I don't know what to talk about. Y'all have any questions or talk about something y'all are doing or I kind of got in the zone. And did a travel wallet. Oh, a hop like Dick Clark's American Bandstand. <laughs> okay, and do I want to? Let's see. Let's go ahead and. Brighten this up. They're really, they're not outlined. I mean, they have black around them, but I'm thinking I want to do polka dots around them. And then of course, I still have to do all the shading in this part of the body.
I don't know if Jane had ever decided what she's going to do. Let's see. I think I wanted to kind of have some stripage. Um, Janet's going to do on her show. I know she got all her, uh, what do you call it, sent out, all the uh, Zentangle. How, how many of y'all participated in Janet's Zentangle swap? And did you get your swap back? Oh, thanks, Claude. <laughs> did you get your swap back from Janet yet? And uh, if you did, how y'all like it? I know everybody's going to like it because I saw them on her show. They look awesome. They look amazing. Trying to stay in camera here. Add another extra little tail thing here. Mm. Becky says, I hope to get hers today. All right, you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add more dots. Just like the way it looks. So I think I'm going to make him more spotted. Then we're going to, sh we're going to make him shine with a glow around him. So what did y'all think? Did y'all like Jonna's kits? Or vintage kits? And I think when I dry this, the dots, I'm going to go back over them and turn them like a light purple. But I think I wanted the dots in there. Some will be black and white on the edges, and then some of these will have purple. I'll put a purple, um, you know, I want to say wash, but not a wash, over it. Yeah, so the sh people should be getting them today or tomorrow, Janet said. I'm trying to stay in frame here. This, is this tedious to watch, guys? Oh, well, what am I asking? <laughs> oh, gosh, I love that so much. Did y'all see my Catterday on Saturday? <clears throat> I'll show it to y'all.
Aren't they so cute? <laughs> Whoops. I always want to turn my phone off accidentally take a screenshot. I'm always deleting these. <laughs> oh, I want you to inspire me to start my own sketch and painting. It's so, it is chill. It is relaxing, you know. And uh, let's see. I think I'll put some. I'm just going to do some random ones here. And then I'll go over them with a uh, pencil here in a minute. Maybe I'll do some little I added a whole bunch of little flowers in my um, rhino picture little white flicks like that And I think I'm going to put a little bit, just because I want to su Susian it up. <laughs> going to make a little thing on his head. Let's give him a little eye, a little sparkle in the eye there. They are. We love our cats. They they can be needy though sometimes. I'm telling you. They can be needy. I need a little bit of I need a little bit more black right in here. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit of more. The marker. I'll go over that with just need some more oomph right in there. Um because they follow us around like toddlers. I'm not kidding. Anywhere we go, they got to go. All right, so let's see. Kind of got that's good right in there. Because so I'm going to put pencil around it too. All right, so let's see. What do I want to do down here? I think I'm going to go ahead and add. It's going to take a minute, but I am going to add some dots down in here. And again, I'm going to pencil over these to knock back so they're not bright white in all areas. But that's one nice thing about Posca. You put some Posca down and you can go over it with pencil and knock it back, but you'll still see the vibrancy of the Posca underneath the pencil. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm giving them texture. I could have probably just thrown a bucket of stars on it and done it as quick. And then cut them out. Then we'll go back on the seahorse. Maybe do some inking on him. A little bit of time left. So I hope everybody worked on their <coughs> worked out something on their homework, their fabric idea, their fabric story. I showed a few of them at the beginning, but I didn't read them. So if you want to read um, read what everybody put on their fabric stories, um, then go to Society of Idea Collectors on Instagram. I should show you the uh, finished. I posted it on. Uh, I did post it on uh, Instagram. The Rhino in uh, Kirby's color book. I should show it to y'all though. Let's finish this real quick.
But Jonna does have good kits. I love her vintage kits. And if you like to do Bible journaling, she has good Bible journaling um, stuff, <laughs> kits with fun stuff in it. I don't know if anybody else likes to do Bible journaling. I know I've shown some of mine before. Shown the uh, my illustrated Bible and some of the some of the pages I've done. If you like to do that, I don't really work on them here because when I'm doing them, I'm thinking and and looking things up and note taking, so it's not really something that I can really. I don't know. Jonna can do it on her videos. She can do it um, while she's writing and journaling. Um, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and dry this. All right, so I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to take the light purple. Oh, wait, I missed one. Hang on. Got to do this one. Hang on. Missed one. Let me dry that. I saw them. All right, so now I'm going to take the purple. Oh, let's we'll see if I can zoom in one more. So now I'm going to take the purple and I'm going to go over those white dots that are in the purple area. And what it does is you're still going to see the white dots, but they're not going to be bright white. So it just kind of knocks them back. Now, I don't want to lose all the white ones. The edges, wherever it was on a piece of, you know, black section, I want that to stay bright white. But some of these, I'm just going to knock back a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more depth. The same thing for some of these yellow ones. Some of the areas where I put yellow, I mean white dots on the yellow. I'm just going to go over that. Okay, let's do a little more shading in here. Let me sharpen my white pencil again. give them a little bit of a although I don't think they really glow like some of those deep sea creatures glow
but I want to kind of give them that effect. <laughs> give them a glowy effect. Something like that, anyway. Now I'm going to back out. And let's turn the brightness down. The sun came out. Something like this. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Hi, Janice. Here comes the other cat. Let me get in the kits. They love those plastic. All right, so let's make his eyes. I can't really see his eye. Let me do a little. His eye's pretty little, but can't see it at all so <laughs> oh wait this has got a glow too this has got his little nose has got a glow <laughs> oh my goodness oh I, I did read um I read another cozy mystery over the weekend. I read uh, another one of the tea, tea shop mysteries. Does anybody else read those? The Cozy Mystery Tea Shop Mystery books? I got the newest one. I read that over the weekend. They're, they're pretty quick to read. So anybody, let's see, he can now lead Neptune's Christmas Slab. <laughs> That would be good. That would be good. Like to have, let's see, he could have some kind of a, has some kind of a harness here. I'm not sure where it would go. Let's see. He, it would go like this, right? Thing around his neck. And then maybe they'd have these, some kind of decorative gold something and then you just can't see it because it's over here <laughs> whatever he's pulling is over here <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me go ahead and show you my uh rhino Oh, <clears throat> so I finished this. Well, CB, I actually did do uh, headphones on the axolotl and the giraffe i did a whole series of because i was going to make them into cell phone covers so i made them tall and skinny and they all had headphone uh cords and headphones in their ears all the animals did the you know the giraffes the emu the i forget what they were all I, they were and they're going to be i was going to make them into cell phone covers you remember them? so anyway so there's the uh there's the rhino page. I did finish it and see what I'm talking about. I added all kinds of little flowers in there. And, uh, so, yeah. so he's posted on. Now I have to finish these guys because this has just got the wash on them. 
and they need to be shaded, right? So I got to do that. So anyway, oh, here's the book, Fragile World. Looking around. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of fun. Now, if they were going to be headphones, they'd be a lot littler than that. And I would stick them up closer to his head. I wanted them to look like, you know, some kind of floaty, uh, feathery things. Let me get my... Maybe I just need to make them bigger. Like wings, you know, little float, li little fluttery wings. Maybe they just need to be more pronounced. They're really not this big on the real actual, on the actual uh, sea dragon. Like that. <laughs> But it's just fun to just, you know, acrylic paints and pencil play. All right, so the other one that I worked on this morning was this one. Um, let me see. I was get a picture somewhere. Seahorse. And uh, work on him. So the first thing that really stands out on him is the white the um, and i kind of really want let me sharpen again i really want to get those highlights on him and i thought i was about doing this one in black and white so i'm not gonna have time to do this whole thing Col my collage came i love oh good you're welcome sylvia i'm glad it arrived i'm glad it arrived so um i really want to do i want to get the white highlights really done on him so this was just going to be a black and white. But I also want um, these nice bright points on his head. This would take this is going to take longer to finish because it's going to be all inked <clears throat> which is going to take longer and i'm not really an inker that's why i do inktober so i can practice And a lot of shading, a lot of white, you know, a lot of shade, um, blending. Um, let's see. Hi, Curly. Uh, maybe do I want to do it with light paint or can I do it with my Posca? Probably can do it with my Posca. So all these little, all the little horned areas. I real almost want to have that little dot of glow. So kind of like, you know how I do a star shine. Like if I do a star shine like this. Then I'll soften the center with pencil. It's kind of what I want to do on the, the little, all, every little horn area, every little point, every little peak. There we go. Every little peak. Could make them steampunk and metal, but I just want to. I wanted to keep it black and white, 
if we went into metal, then I'd have to get into colors. So. Okay. Looks like I connect the dot. <laughs> uh, all right, let me dry it so I don't smear it with my sleeve. see what we can do here so much time I can put into it go sharpen again looks like a jewel oh that's nice yeah <clears throat> Again, I don't know how riveting this is. <laughs> That's one of the things about, you know, doing drawings or, or, you know, pan pastels or, you know, it, it just takes so much time and you don't get to get to the, the real fun stuff, if you will, because it takes so long to get the, you know, base and stuff done. But then if I come in with it already half, well, I mean, I'd already had it sketched out. Um, then people go, oh, I wanted to see you sketching it. So it's kind of like, a, you know, and I don't do speeded up videos. I, everything I do is live. I do all my shows live. There's no, I don't do time lapse or anything like that. Because it doesn't, it doesn't interest me to do that. Even though if you're a serious YouTuber and you really want to make money at it, I mean, I'm going to be honest, you don't make the same amount of money off of live that you do off of Memorex. <laughs> Your, um, what do you call it, your uh, recorded videos, you're going to make more money off that than you do live. You just do. So if you want to make more money on your videos, you, you don't want to do lives. But I don't, I'm not doing it for the money. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing all, the, all I do is live. But that's what's fun for me. I enjoy doing lives. And hanging out and chatting with you guys. So that's what I do. So I do appreciate the super chats and the PayPal and stuff. I'm always fascinated with your Oh, thank you, Rachel. All right, so we got to start. We got to start on him. All right, so I want to, um, I'm, I'm going to want these, these, some of these areas to be highlighted. They're going to have a little more texture to them, but. I at least want to like knock in some highlights on the individual little sections. Needs another one.
makes my child come back, wondrous creatures. There's so much good art out there these days that we didn't have when we were, you know, we had to go to the library and look things up. We didn't get to go on the internet and say, oh, look how nice, and, you know, keep moving along. We had to check books out of the library if we wanted to see cool stuff. All right, so let's see. Do I want to use, I just want to use just a regular old pen. Let's see here. Let this. It might work, okay. It's nothing fancy. It's just a Staples, you know, kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, what do you call those? Uh, you know, like the Micron kind of shit tips. All right, so let's see here. Let's see, maybe I'll zoom in a little. So you can see, so, and again, I am not an inker, so I just kind of, I like, you know, a lot of people, well, here, let me go over here again, on that scrap paper. Um, a lot of inkers, professional inkers, and people that ink all the time, let me do it big for you so you can see. They'll ink with um, cross hatching. So let's just say you wanted to shade this right here. Well, they'll cross hatch it. You know, they'll cross hatch till they get the dark and then they'll get lighter and lighter. You know, they'll they'll do cross hatching in different ways. You can do it. You don't have to just do it in squares. You can do it in, you know, kind of like this, right? And, of course, I'm doing it with the Sharpie, not you can get the much finer detail with the little pen I'm going to use. But how I like to shade... <laughs> My shading, I like to do scribbles. And this is just what I like to do. You know, you, you can do all different ways. But I like to do scribble shading. Of course, this does, you know, it, it can be a little off-putting if you're doing a building or something. You know, if you're doing a building and you have scribbles, unless it's like a rough texture or something, you know, you want more angular kind of thing. So you can see you can do different kinds of shading. And there's more, there's tons, tons of things you can do. I just like scribbling. It's more, it's more relaxing to me than being all, like, oh, you know, lining it up. So when I'm shading, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing more scribbling than I am cross hatching. I just like the way it looks. And I could be doing this with a ballpoint pen. This is just a little smaller. So I want a little eye in there better. And this is very, you know, very time consuming. As you can well see, it would take, a, it's going to take a while. But just kind of show you what you can kind of do. And again, I am not, I am not a, you know, I don't do enough inking to do it that as well as can be done. Um, that's why I like to do my inktobers. Because it, it keeps me at least practicing once a year. <laughs> once a year for a month, I'll do 30 drawings in ink. <clears throat> yeah, I just I like I just like the feel of doing it uh, scribbly. That's just me. You know, I just like that feel of doing it scribbly. 
and you can press harder and get some you know darker and then just run it like lightly over the skim your pen just kind of like a, like I do with the ballpoint Um, hey Jeff, how's it going? So I'll work for about five more minutes. And uh, do you have any questions or anything? Or tell me what y'all are working on. I want to give this some shape here. <clears throat> hey Nick and Tina, been a while. How y'all been? <clears throat> Some darker right in there. Um, we are good, okay. <laughs> and then if I want to get back in here with some more. Actually, can almost go have a nice highlight coming right across there like this. Around that eye. Give them kind of a sad look. We could make, oh, you know what? We could make him cry. Should we make him cry? y'all think oh, let's see a sharpening I just want to do it all in black and white Hard to draw teardrops underwater. 
We could put them in space. We could put them in outer space. Y'all know. <clears throat> a glowing moon would go well. I've got a star up here. And then of course, would have to make him a little bit more glowy. So all these bright, I want like each one of these to really glow. The little dots that I just did. But I don't want to get them in here yet because I got to put more black in there. And it's going to be, I can do these though. outside ones and then we could add us something like I'll show you you know let's finish this I'll tell you why he's crying the sharp end. And see all these will have a glow to them too, but I don't want to do those too much till I do the black. So he's got all these little. So what happened was is let's put one right here. What happened was is now see I shouldn't be doing this till I get the inking done. <laughs> now I gotta ink around it, but look, what we're gonna do is he used to be a star. And again, I shouldn't do this till I finish because now I can't hardly, you know, I'm going to get in there and try to ink around that. But anyway, got to start on them. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I just like to, I like to, this is my, my version of doodling is like scribbling. <laughs> I love y'all Zentangles, but I just, I can't, don't have the patience for Zentangling. But I'll, I'll scribble all day. <laughs> I'll get in here and scribble all day long. So what I'm going to do is each one of these little sections is going to be detailed in like this. As long as I put these little I don't want them too perfect. I want them kind of squiggly.
And then what I'll do is I'll give them, maybe I should do it with Posca. Maybe that can do it quicker. But each one of these is going to have its own light. All right, so you start to see where it's going, I hope. And then the same thing for all this back in here, but this will have more, um, even though it's going to have those kind of areas like this, it's going to have those kind of things like that, but it's going to be darker over in here. You make it sound like someone double dog dare you to scribble all day. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna stop, guys. I hope y'all I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks all the lurkers that stuck around. And uh I'll give y'all more homework on Wednesday if y'all are enjoying it. Now, I, am I wasting my time by give? I mean, I know there's like a few of y'all that are doing it, but you know, I want y'all to you know tell me if y'all aren't enjoying doing it. I won't do it anymore. I just thought you know because the Society of Idea Collectors, how we always collect up so many ideas from books and and everything else that y'all might like to try to do some but you know we've done it over the years off and on we've done it over the years off and on and uh you know sometimes more people like it than not but i'll keep doing it for a while but all right so let me back out so you can see <laughs> let's see so you can see kind of the whole thing here there we go so you can kind of see where we'll keep adding and shading. Hi, Tina. I didn't expect to see you today. I'm glad you made it in. Hope everything's okay. I know you had a, had a, well, I don't know how much you want to say. So I don't, I don't like to tell people's business when they don't, I don't know how much people have talked. So, but anyway, we'll have a, uh, get back in here with this because, uh, you don't want to do these kind of details like this until after you've done, you know, those star shines and stuff like that. You put that on top at the end. So what do you have, Tina? Guess what I have. What do you have? I don't know. I could never guess. I could never guess what you have, Tina. I had to go to the doctor. Now I... Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's stress, probably. Do you think? Stress, Tina? You need to get more rest. Just saying. Not, not going to tell you what to do. All right. So there's some detail going on there. There's a lot of just textures and stuff right in this areas of his head. There's not really a definitive kind of thing. But I want to I want to make it definitive. <laughs> I want something there. 
can make it a crown. That's what we could do. This could, we could have a crown. I don't know. I'll have to shade that under there. Maybe some kind of a crown around his head, like or a halo or something. I don't know. I've got to get this shaded in. Oh, is that? Yeah, it says how black. Let's get that. Well, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to head out. We'll, um, we had a little fun with that and our, um, where is he? <laughs> our little uh, sea dragon but you could continue on doing all kinds of things to him I mean you can make him have more those leafy kind you know those leafy leafy edges you can do you know I don't know there's just so much you can do to play with these guys because they can be imaginary you know all right. Well, I'm going to head out, guys. Janet comes on in about an hour. I know I don't I didn't see if she ever said what she's going to do. Tina, don't make us come after you and make you take care of yourself. And uh, I guess I'll head out. So if anybody has any questions or anything, the seahorse looks great. <laughs> it's okay it's got, you know again I think I just wanted to play with some black and white we could paint them you know add color color is always exciting you know but I just wanted to play around with some different options for you and uh, yeah so I'll go on and see you guys on Wednesday well I mean I'll see you at Janet's but I'll see you on Wednesday here and, uh, okay, Jan's going to glue in your big book of nothing. I didn't know you had a big book of nothing, Janet. You have a big book? <laughs> I didn't know you had a big book of nothing. I'm really, I'm surprised. I'm shocked. I, I don't think I've ever seen your big book of nothing. I know the, I know the beast. I know the beast. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed seeing John's kits and just playing around a little bit. And uh, again, whoever sent the cats, the uh, cat toys and the cat treats, if it wasn't you, Sharon, then whoever wants to fess up to sending that, I appreciate it. And uh, looking around, I think that's about it, guys. I appreciate y'all being here. Thanks, everybody, for the super chat and hanging out. Uh, we'll probably do another giveaway on Wednesday. We'll probably give away, we'll go ahead and give away one of um, these color books, the Rainforest Escape books. We'll give away one of those um, on Wednesday. And, um, yeah. So I guess we'll uh, see you guys later. Okay, see you at my home later. Okay, Janet. All right, guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.